Yep, that'll trick them. The challenge for adults is to try and get the combination of saying, I'm not just playing around, I'm playing for a purpose, and yet to have that kind of freedom and spontaneity and creativity that we see children have. You don't outgrow your need for play. Your, your need for play may change, or the kinds of things you might do for play will change, but the need doesn't change. Adults are consume most of the time with work. They don't have that much time for play, or they tend not to give themselves much time for play. So they're tired, and it's easier to consume. When I look at most of my colleagues, I find more of them working 16 and 18 hour days. They don't have time to play. They don't have time to play even when they're home and they're too tired. And if innovation requires play, which I really believe that it does, then we're getting more and more people doing what some person at the top of a corporation says is important. You do this. You look at the successful lives of people who have really made a difference in human society, and what you find is that they didn't do things by the rules. They, in fact, insisted on making their own rules. They were playful people. No one becomes a great inventor or a great scientist or a great writer or anything else unless they love what they do. Because you have to really be able to invest your entire soul into something. And if you can't play at it, if you can't just do something because you enjoy it, then you can't do it completely enough or long enough to succeed at it. I think the encouragement of play in the workplace is a marvelous trend. Yeah, you're down to 40 from an original of 173 ideas. <laughs> I think that not only does it generate more ideas, but it also reinvigorates the role that, that play has in connecting us together and helping us to work better together. So for now, we're just playing around. <laughs> <laughs> the idea was the group that you hang around with is really important to how innovative you are, how creative you are. And so by picking my friends, people I was already comfortable working with, and people who had the same kind of value system, um, and that comfort, um, w I thought, would allow us to do great work. And it turns out it works out pretty well. Okay, how many, how many for dogs? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> or bone bell. It's kind of like a barbell for dogs. It makes them, them sweat, and, and everything's much more of an effort. In the workplace, we need the same things that children need. We need a place to be creative. We need a place to be interactive. We need a place for social interaction. We need a place to explore new tools. Well, I think if play is exploration and gives us license to try new ideas, work, in many ways, is application of that understanding. We went through a period in business where you had to sit at your desk and like have your head down. People perfected ways of like looking like they were busy by holding the phone up to their ear when they weren't and so forth. You want to use the mirror. But today we actually have gotten to the point where enlightened companies allow their people to play. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you can say if you're in a company in Silicon Valley, okay, you guys, here's the general space of what we want you to find out about and we're just going to let you play around until you do. When play is um, purposefully put in the workforce, it strikes me that it's a kind of communal play. It's a play that has rules to it, that this is where you will play, this is why you will play, this is how you will play. So it strikes me it's not quite the real thing. The critical message here is we go and look at where the big companies started, the garages, you know, the little home laboratory, the inventor tinkering in his basement. There are too many of these stories to be ignored. They're telling us that we need to have people doing these things. The first step is to get people to start feeling like the play's okay and that they're inherently a creative person. We have businesses who've actually brought their folks here to do play exercises with the idea of, of, of getting the creative juices going to have people see each other in a different kind of light, to learn about one another, to learn about new strengths, new interests, um, and you can do that through play.